So here I am in Devil's Thirst. I'm chasing the war party. That's my main campaign, and you'll be seeing some of the uh, footage that I get for that because uh, that's part of my. Um, oh, scan that. That's part of my uh, ongoing campaign to try and get rare dialogue out of everyone. So uh, I digress. We climb this first. And then you get to the top, there's a little chest up here, and I believe it's Blaze and, yeah, um, just metal vessel in there, which is quite nice. Uh, in order to climb this water tower, I'm going to put on my shield clothes in case I fall. I think a fall from this height will actually kill me uh, outright, because I'm going up a bit too much. Maybe if you had full health, health potion, it will help you out, but... I'm not 100% sure. So you're trying to jump on this metal beam and go around that one there. And then up. So you want to sort of just, yeah, just jump on that. And again, it's spamming the jumps as soon as you land. So you can get some time, get some air time, sorry. And uh, sort out your next jump. So that's where I want to go that beam going out to the right there, see if I can get a good view of that when I get up there. So you need to sort of go in and out around that one and on to this one, there we are. And then from there into the centre, so I should just, I should have walked that, oh yeah I should have walked that. There we go, back on we get. So from there we cross into the centre and then take the outer edge of the metal work here. And then you just want to go up one of these, uh, like, backwards curves up to the top. Anything you're not sure of, test with an arrow, because you don't always know if metalwork will support you. Some does, some doesn't. This isn't really high enough, so most of it does. There might be instances where you climb something and it doesn't work, but just look for something. A little bit of metal that's out of place, it's a bit rusted, so that you can get purchase on it and then because I'm in a bush I'm going to head into photo mode so I can spin the camera around and see where I am so I can see I'm just perched on the ledge there there's that rail below me so I should just be able to walk out just very slowly there yeah and the rail protects me not going to find that always with all of these but it's useful now so going into the night phase as you can see we're looking for this bit of metal that sticks out here and we're going to use the railing and the metal to climb up. So with the power of editing, you can see I moved on a bit here. I'm on the uh, facing the wall cliff there, uh, and I'm going up on that one there. So jump on the rail, jump onto that one, jump up that one. You can see I moved the camera down there, and you can see that metal just jaggedy sticking out, and that's what you're looking for. That metal that's just a little bit out of place, that's sticking out to the side. Something that you can get purchase on it, like this here is a bit higher up, so I can get purchase on that. And then I can see that little bit of metal sticking out the bush, and then it's just a question of getting onto the top. And there you are. So, round trip, this took me about 45 minutes, because I was trying to find this fastest route up. For you, uh, starting out, this video is about 5 minutes long. I would say if you haven't done climbing before, it might take 10 minutes tops. Some of it is feeling and remembering. Um, some of it is uh, just trying to get Aloy to get in the position you want her to. It's a bit of a shame that tree's in the middle of it, but you can see here I've got a nice view of the city, nice view of tall wreck torn wreck tall neck sorry that comes round um d's gonna have a go at me for that one but <laughs> as you can see i got some nice landscapes some nice colors so i'm gonna put it into the evening switch it to vibrance and you get that lovely pinkish sky you so the morning and the evening i know at the morning about 5 10 is a nice time because the sun's coming up and it gives that brilliant brilliant sky that i've got there and you can just take some very nice photos from this sort of angle. 
and uh, it just looks nice and it's a quite an easy climb I wouldn't say this one's too stressy if you're new at climbing this is a great one to start but if you really really want to try out your skills first you see the buildings down there in the right hand corner of the screen if you go on there there's some good practice for you for just climbing jumping and getting to grips with it I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one thank you and Goodbye.